Your first question when looking at the ABG should be, is this patient hypoxic? As hypoxia is the most immediate threat to life. PaO2 should be over 10 kilopascals when oxygenating on room air in a healthy patient. If the patient is receiving oxygen therapy, their PaO2 should be approximately 10 kilopascals less than the percent inspired concentration FiO2, or fraction of inspired oxygen. So a patient on 40% oxygen would be expected to have a PaO2 of approximately 30 kilopascals. Hypoxemia is a below normal level of oxygen if the PaO2 is less than 10 kilopascals on air, a patient is considered hypoxemic. If the PaO2 is less than 8 kilopascals on air, a patient is considered severely hypoxemic and in respiratory failure. We will now discuss type 1 versus type 2 respiratory failure. Type 1 respiratory failure involves hypoxemia, the low oxygen, with normocapnia, a normal carbon dioxide. Type 2 respiratory failure involves hypoxemia with hypercapnia, a high carbon dioxide. Type 1 respiratory failure occurs as a result of ventilation perfusion, or VQ, mismatch. The volume of air flowing in and out of the lungs is not matched with the flow of blood to the lung tissue. As a result of the VQ mismatch, PaO2 falls and PaCO2 rises. The rise in PaCO2 rapidly triggers an increase in a patient's overall alveolar ventilation, which corrects the PaCO2 but not the PaO2 due to the different shape of the CO2 and O2 dissociation curves. The end result is hypoxemia with normocapnia. Examples of VQ mismatch include reduced ventilation and normal perfusion, for example, pulmonary edema or bronchoconstriction, and reduced perfusion with normal ventilation, such as a pulmonary embolism. Type 2 respiratory failure occurs as a result of alveolar hypoventilation which prevents the patient from being able to adequately oxygenate and eliminate CO2 from their blood. Hypoventilation can occur for a number of reasons, including increased resistance as a result of airway obstruction, for example, COPD, reduced compliance of the lung tissue or chest wall, for example, pneumonia, rib fractures, or obesity, Reduced strength of the respiratory muscles, such as Guillain-Barre or motor neuron disease, and drugs acting on the respiratory center, reducing overall ventilation, such as opiates. If you enjoyed this video, check out the Geeky Medics collection of over 900 ready-made OSCE stations. You can practice with friends using our advanced group practice mode, or interact with our amazing AI-powered virtual patients.